I can tell you guys a story on how the fashion started. Um, funny enough, you know, it um, started like a very simple, crazy thing of uh, just asking people questions on Facebook or, or rather on WhatsApp. Uh, and then we created a group and then kept adding people, kept adding people. I think the day we had suitcase we went viral or rampant. We had to like close the blue group so that people couldn't come through. Uh, new people couldn't join and then we, we opened it after he had left but yeah so it's been it's been quite wild and honestly um I'm grateful to see the growth of it because yeah who would have known you know and which brings us to big news today we're having an interview with Jai Banda the Jai Banda Mr. Entertainer I am like you know my mind is blown right now. I'm, I'm anxious, but at the same time, I'm really excited. Hello, everyone watching. Welcome to another episode. Today, we are speaking to the one and only Mr. Entertainer, Mr. Jai Banda. We are currently in his office, as you can see. Mr. Jai Banda, thank you so much for the honor. I am really delighted. As I stated, I've heard so much about you, and finally, uh, having this conversation is such an honor. Please, sir, uh, just take us through uh, a, a bit of background of your story of who you are, so that for the person who doesn't know you, that they are acquainted with you. Who is Mr. Jai Banda, and uh, where are you coming from, particularly? I'm, I'm so honored to be here, actually. I'm actually very happy. I mean... Uh... Yes, it has been a long journey for me. I was born about six decades ago in, uh, in the then Rhodesia, yeah. in, 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 in Salisbury, you know, uh -huh. uh, born of uh, migrant parents. My, my father and mother came from here and because of looking for greener pastures, my uh, dad went to Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. I, was, I, I, was, I, was born, I was born there. Um, I grew up actually in a, a township they call Old Highfields. Mm. Um, that's Zimbabwe. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's in Zimbabwe. It was Rhodesia then. Uh -huh. Of course, now it's Zimbabwe. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I grew up in Old Highfields. I went to a school called Chipembere Government School. Mm -hmm. Chipembere means rhino. You know, oh. that's the government school I, 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 I went. Mm. Um, my growing up, you know, we, it was during the colonial regime. Mm -hmm. uh, Rhodesia, as it was then, full of whites, you know. Yeah. So I was brought up actually being acquainted so much to, 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 white, white, to white, 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 white Rhodesians. Mm -hmm. I did my primary school there at Pembele Gavin School. After doing my primary, my primary education, mm -hmm. I went to... Uh, uh, secondary school, a boys only secondary school in Zimbabwe. It was called Saint Mary's Secondary Secondary School. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. But um, what I remember most about my growing up is I was uh, brought up uh, within the same vicinity of uh, the musical icon who most of you know know, and that is Oliver Tukum Tukudzi. Oh. Yes, wow. yes. Where I used to stay, it was it, it was just five houses away, mm. you know, themselves just across uh, across the road, mm. and um, basically his young brother called Oliver, called Robert Mtukuzi, mm. was a, a close friend of mine. Right. We grew up playing together, mm. you know. There's a reason why I, I'm, I'm introducing that, that that aspect of the vicinity of where I was brought up, mm -hmm. you know. After secondary school. Um, what used to happen then is before you could go to university, mm -hmm. you had to join the National Army of, the, of Rhodesia. Really? Yes. Before you it could, was mandatory. Yeah, yes, it was, it was mandatory. You, 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 you had to join the, the, the army mm -hmm. so that you, are, you were in the Rhodesian army, fight alongside whites mm -hmm. against the guerrillas then. You know, the guerrillas were based in Mozambique and Zambia, mm. you know, with Robert Mugabe mm. leading ZANU in Mozambique and uh, Joshua Nkomo leading 
Zapu then in Zambia. Mm -hmm. Zapu is Zimbabwe African People's Union, Zanu is Zimbabwe African National Union. Mm -hmm. They were fighting for the liberation of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So in order for you to be allowed to go to university, you had to join the Rhodesian army of mm -hmm. the then Prime Minister called Ian Douglas Smith. Mm -hmm. Without that, then you couldn't really go to, 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 to the university of uh, Rhodesia. Mm -hmm. Now myself, I had an advantage of having been born uh, as a Malawian, and with, I mean, from Malawian parents, yeah, yeah. and I had a Malawian passport. Mm. So what I did, I had to leave Zimbabwe, Rhodesia then, mm. to go to Lesotho, uh -huh. you know, to the University of Lesotho. Mm. I went to the University of Lesotho where I did my first degree, mm. and I, I got a Bachelor of Arts in Law degree. At the, at, the, at, the, at the University of uh, Lesotho. Mm. That was, I went there in 1977. Wow. And, <laughs> A while back. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I was there mm. until I graduated in 1981. Mm -hmm. um, you see, the beauty is, the time when I was uh, graduating, mm. that's also the time when Rhodesia, the then Rhodesia was getting its independence to be in Zimbabwe. You know, in mm -hmm. 1980, uh, Zimbabwe got um, its independence. And uh, I'm so proud to say that I and the others, we, contribution, we contributed a lot to the liberation of, uh, of, of, the, of, of, of Zimbabwe. Wow. Um, mm. When we were at university, mm. we are amongst those students who would demonstrate and mm. go and invade the British embassy. You know? No, 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 no. An oh. arm. You know. <laughs> An arm. Okay. Yeah, just singing liberation songs. Uh -huh. You know. The Sarafina type. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. I was actually involved of, of involved wow. involved in that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've heard of people like Steve Biko. I they, know Steve Biko. Yeah, he mm -hmm. died when I was at at, at, at university myself. Wow. They were we would join South Africans in the demonstrations which they were doing. Mm -hmm. In fact, we were fighting alongside the South Africans who were also fighting for their liberation, you mm -hmm. know, from uh, apartheid. from apartheid. apartheid, apartheid. Yeah. So for four years, I was at the University of Lesotho where I got my Bachelor of Arts in Law, mm -hmm. in, in, in law degree. And the idea was that time, when I finished my degree in mm -hmm. 1981, I was not going to go back to 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 to, to, to Rhodesia, mm -hmm. uh, or to to, to 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 Rhodesia if the independence had not been granted. We were going to go to to Mozambique to join the liberation struggle. Mm -hmm. That was what was happening. Students, when they finish, instead of going back to to, to Rhodesia, they would go to to, to to Mozambique to join the army, or they would go to Zambia, mm -hmm. or they would go to Tanzania. Right. You know. So fortunately for us. When we finished, independence was uh, was 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 was, was there. Mm -hmm. It been granted. It was obtained in, um, in Zimbabwe. Right. So after independence, you know, Independence Day. That's when uh, the King of Reggae, Bob Marley, came to Zimbabwe mm. and performed. Yes. You know, Africans are liberated in uh, mm. in, 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 in Zimbabwe. Mm. When I went back to Zimbabwe, um, I went um, for one year. And then later now, came yeah, back to, uh, Mal to, 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 to Malawi. Mm -hmm. I came to Malawi. I worked, I used to work with a firm called Bazooka and Company mm -hmm. Lawyers. Mm -hmm. You know, Bazooka Mohango, a very well-known lawyer in Malawi, is retired now. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he helped me settle in Malawi. And whilst I was working with him, mm -hmm. uh, the other aspect, the musical side now, is when, um, in my view, Malawian music mm. was not known outside there. Outside the borders. Outside Malawi. the borders. Right. You know, mm. the, the musicians, they, 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 there was nothing like um, really mu uh, music with a Malawian identity, which people would identify and say, ah, this is from Malawi. Mm -hmm. Like, unlike where in Zimbabwe you hear that 
only from Tukum is before me. Mm. I mean, the music, you know that this music is from Zimbabwe. Yes, you know, that's even, definitely. Even true. South Africa, mm. you know that music yeah. is from South Nigeria, Africa. Nigeria, the same. Nigeria, Tanzania, Tanzania, the same. Tanzania, the same. Yeah. But Malawi, you know, <laughs> it, it was. Identity <laughs> crisis. Yeah, identity, which, I mean, mm. ever since we, st- which we started, I don't know if we've got an identity now, but I doubt. Yeah. I doubt <laughs> if we have achieved. So, mm. my lifetime goal mm. was to assist uh, Malawian artists. Mm. You know, as a lawyer, I thought that uh, whatever funds I would get, I would in, invest them mm. in my passion of music mm. in assisting Malawian what, artists. What really inspired that? Because it's not it's not an everyday goal. Yes. Yeah. What inspired that? I mean, I can only say one thing. It's the passion. Mm. It's it's the, 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 the something in my blood. Mm. You know, it's, it's perhaps a calling. Mm. It's a calling which I was just called that to, you, you should do this. Because I said to myself, if I don't do it in Malawi, mm. who else is going to do, going it? To do it? And I look back, you know, mm. 34 years ago, mm. up to now, if you are going to ask anybody yes. who in Malawi has done what I've done in terms mm. of arti- uh, assisting artists, mm. I will tell you there's mm. no name which can be compared to mine. Wow. I'm not even boasting about it. Yes. I will ask. Now we know. We know the facts. In this country <laughs> I think is, everybody knows the facts. Who has yeah. done that? Who has been consistent? Someone who is educated? Someone who has taken his funds? Mm. You know, not doing it for for. For profit mm. for the past thirty four years, mm. I would ask mention one person. Mm. You know, you will not find anybody, and mm. that I challenge because others will do it. They fall along the way. Mm. Others who have tried to do it, come yes. up with promotional companies, yeah. try, but they all Went you know away. sink into oblivion. Yes. And there's only one name which has stood out, wow. and that has been my name, yes. Jai Banda, Mister yeah. Entertainer <laughs> himself. So, yes. sir, for for um, um, before the camera started rolling, you were saying that uh, you studied this, but then you were not, it was not profitable. You weren't getting anything out of it. Well, how, how did you, first of all, maintain it long term? And has it now turned profitable along along the years? I, I would say um, w- when I started, of course, basically I wasn't really doing it for, 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 for money, to be honest. Mm. Otherwise, I would have left it long, yes, long <laughs> time ago. Yes. You know? I, it, it was something I, 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 which I derived so much pleasure. Mm. I did it because I loved it mm. and because I love it, mm. you know. Is it, is it the music itself that you, that you love or the musicians or uh, a mixture of both? Are you a huge fan of music or helping the I, artists? I, I think helping the artists. It's, uh. it's in my blood. I, <laughs> yes. I derive pleasure, you know. Yeah. In the music, of course, mm-hmm. you know, when I see thousands, they're screaming, yes. you know, enjoying, <laughs> being happy. Mm-hmm. I feel so nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, it gives me so much pleasure. Others enjoy supporting football, others yeah. boxing, mm-hmm. you know, but myself, it has been music. It is something which has given me happiness, you know. Right. When you talk of driving <laughs> natural happiness, it has been that, uh-huh. you know, it, uh-huh. is, it, is, uh, it has been that. So mm-hmm. when I was doing it, I wasn't necessarily saying I want to drive anything. Yeah. In fact, for only to, 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 to be honest with you, mm. even the past all these years, I haven't really benefited anything from music. I've actually spent my money that's which I, if I hadn't invested in music, mm. I think I would even have had over 15 houses. I think I would have had so many beautiful cars. You know, to, to, I, I want to be honest with you. Wow. The, the, the money which I've got from my legal practice, mm. I've dedicated it to supporting Malawian artists. Mm. And I've done it with all my heart, from deep down my heart. Mm. You know, mm. Malawian artists, we haven't had anything. That is why you find you talk of all most of these big artists, mm. they will tell you the role I've played in, that's, their, that's in, their, in their lives. True. I've been yeah. one person where they would come anytime if they've got problems at home, mm. if they've got funerals, mm. if they've got anything, mm. I would still assist, not with the intention of benefiting anything. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the standard of events which we hold, mm. you can actually agree. Oh, that's true. You That's can actually true. agree that we wouldn't even get the money back because we really yeah. put in a, a, a lot of effort. You know, we spend quite a lot. That's and uh, 
the money which people pay and they do, it's not enough. It's not to, enough. To, 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 to catch up for everything. To, to catch yeah. up everything. But when we do something nice, mm. you know, I mean, there is that happiness that, yes, yeah. I've done this, I at least I've made a difference mm -hmm. in my work, mm. in my country. Now, for you, having sponsored all of this and helped so many people, yes. do you think there is now hope that you're looking at and you're saying, you know what, the music industry is now taking shape, yes. we've done a good job, these people have set themselves, and yeah. now they are on their way to uh, becoming like the neighbors that we're comparing them to. Yes, I, 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 I suppose we are getting to that now. Yeah. You know, I suppose, I mean, like, now I'm not active in the promotion of music yes. myself personally. Mm -hmm. I've handed over to 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 to, to, to yes, sir. Yes. and uh, you'll agree with me. All the events he's doing mm. are quite good events, here. and I think we are getting to what we wanted that Malawian artists should be on the on the map. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see now there are Malawian artists, even though they are being called by. Uh, fellow Malawians outside the country, yeah. but they are still going. And we are on the path, right direction, yeah. that uh, they will uh, they will do quite well. Right. And we have also seen Malawian artists are now no longer just playing copyrights, mm. you know, in their mm. events. They are playing all their own songs. And yeah. you can imagine they are having their sh events mm. where just Malawian music is being, is played, being played without playing yeah. uh, copyright songs. And I'm happy in saying that that is a dream which I had 34 years ago, wow. that it should be like that. Wow. The only thing which is left now mm. is for us to have an impact outside Malawi, outside mm. the borders, mm. cross and the all borders. cross border. And that we should have a music with a Malawian identity that people should be able to say, mm. this is music from Malawi. Right. I mean, music from Nigeria, once it's played, you know it's from yeah, Nigeria. It's, it's Nigeria. South Africa, <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know, Zambia, you know, Zimbabwe, you know. Mm. But ourselves, it hasn't been like that. Yeah. And that has been my dream, that at least if we can build that, mm. you know, and I think the young generation, they are trying, mm. and I believe it's just a matter of time before we have a big artist from Malawi like Diamond, mm. you know, yeah. like, uh, you know, even Makazi, mm. those kind of artists. I think we are getting there mm. where Malawian artists will now be de invited outside by foreigners. Because right. as of now, you find Malawian artists are just being invited <laughs> by fellow Malawians. Malawian. So it means we have still got some work to do. Wow, that is amazing. Yes. And, and have you ever had moments where uh, you've played conflict of interest with what you're doing as a career as a lawyer mm -hmm. and finding yourself also as a promotioner. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever had those moments where these two things you are see, tagging? Yeah. You see, years back, mm. uh, people didn't even believe I'm a lawyer, you know. Because, <laughs> Understandably so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They never even believed uh, I, 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 I'm a lawyer because they never thought lawyers would promote musicians. musicians yeah. You know, mm. uh, I've, I've faced a lot. Mm. People have uh, said so many things, mm. you know. Mm. They used to say so many things, but over time, I mean, I've been accepted for who I am, and people have realized that, you know, what I've done mm. is, is quite good, and things have changed. You have actually now find... Uh, lawyers who are not uh, uh, who are actually not like myself who just assist musicians but lawyers who are actually artists who perform. Mm. Edgar and Davis for an example. Oh, yes. Those are fully qualified uh, lawyers. Mm. You know, Ambokile Salim, mm. you know, and just to give you Emmanuel Teo, mm. you know, good musicians, yeah. you know, who actually perform. Mm. You know, people have accepted that lawyers are also human they right. need entertainment mm. and there's really nothing wrong if you promote music i mm. mean if you're going to do your your your, your job well mm. uh, there's really nothing wrong mm. with that so long as you keep your integrity right. i've done high profile cases myself mm. you know i've acted for dr john chapman mm. i've acted for dr bagiri Bruce. yes i was inspirational in Malawi, I'll give you an example. Mm. In the establishment, I mean, in the enacting of the legislation of money laundering, 
And there is no way really? in Malawi mm. you can talk about the law of money laundering without talking about Jaibanda. Because I am the one who uh, initiated mm. that uh, money laundering, I mean, be enacted as, a, as, as an offense in Malawi. Mm. I was the one who was inspirational, instrumental in the establishment of the Financial Intelligence Authority in Malawi. I wow. am the one. Even wow. during that time, some ministers then mm were objecting to, to, to the financial intelligence uh, authority being set up, mm. you know. Yes. I, I'm the one who has uh, done that alongside, of course, at the same time still doing the assisting artists. But wow. mm. I have done all those things. So mm. there really hasn't been any 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 any, 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 time any with, conflict. With what you I mean, it has been there on Fridays yeah. having an event on Monday yeah. morning we were in You're court. In the office. I, yeah, <laughs> court again. The only thing is that mm. uh, I've just worked so hard. Mm. You know, I've just worked so hard. Mm. Yeah, to be I can able imagine to because that's, I've that's just not worked an easy so thing hard. To do. Yeah, I worked just so hard. Yeah, and, and employers have to, uh, I, I imagine, have yeah. to study a lot, a lot. and consistently yeah. as well. Yes, yes. And at the same time, you have to be maintaining, looking over artists. Yes. yes. Otherwise, was, wasn't that hard for you to? To put together. Uh, no, 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 no. It was it, it was just a hard work, you know, mm. hard work on both sides. One, I had to maintain this is my own law firm. Mm. I had to maintain the, the law firm. If mm. clients don't believe in me, then mm. I wouldn't have clients. I would have closed <laughs> this law firm a long time ago. That's true. You know, I would have closed it, mm. you know. But people believe in you, mm. you know, that you can do it despite the the, the fact that you like music so much. Mm. I mean, people know that when it comes to your job, you <laughs> you will you, do it. Yeah. When it comes to doing something musical, you you will also deliver. Mm. I will tell you, the corporate world now mm. in Malawi yes. would love to work with uh, 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 team entertainers. Mm, I mean, true. talk of uh, uh, just last week, FC Bank, First Capital Bank. Yes. Talk of. Uh, uh, Castell, mm. you know, so 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 many, mm. so so many at this Malawi Broadcasting Corporation mm. have worked with us for for for, for their events. So so many diff, di, 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 different companies, mm. so many different companies. That is amazing. Yes, yes. And and speaking about your uh, own profession now, yes. Um, you you seem quite a smart person, you know, and which is <laughs> which is weird because. Yes. Uh, people would have the misconception of thinking, look, if this person is so interested in... We've, we've, in Malawi, we have this misconception mm-hmm. of equating people who turn to music as if, ah, and it is a school, Zagadiga. Mm-hmm. You know, they are not good with school, then they yes. are turning to these other things. Yes, yes. Even the art, the same artists that you, yes. you support. Haven't you ever had that um, uh, that controversy where, uh, let's say, in court, some, a client is like, mm, no, nah, this, this person, no, I can't work with him. Uh, because it doesn't seem like he, he holds a sense of seriousness because uh, of, of your association with music. Uh, I haven't. I haven't really had. I haven't really had that. Mm. You know. I haven't really had uh, those 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 conceptions because the time when I'm engaged, the kind of work I, I do. I mean, people believe he, 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 people believe in me. That mm. is why you you <laughs> found even the more money laundering cases. I, I've been engaged, yeah. you know, yeah. quite a lot. Mm. I mean, I'm published. I contributed to about five books where wow. I'm, where I'm published, you mm. know, in regards to 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 money laundering. And then that 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 shows, mm. I mean, uh, seriousness. That's you know, mm. and if you are being engaged by high profile people, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what does that what, yeah, what, what, what does that, that show? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. And and. What do you think is the landscape now in this country where, um, because one of the other things that we're talking about when we're coming here yeah. is how many of the Malawian stories are not being told. Stories of people like yourself, stories yes. of people like Bagili Muruzi, yes. uh, where uh, we have these people who have done so much for this country, yes. have contributed so much, yet we, we look towards uh, foreigners more than we look towards our own. Yes. You know, I was I was speaking earlier on that we have uh, we have documentaries made like the men who built America, yes. but we don't have documentaries like the men who built Malawi. Yes, yes. You know, now 
uh, what do you think is your role now that you've you've handed over the company? Yes. What are you now active actively doing on the ground to say, okay, this is what I want to um, to give to the younger generation that is coming up? Because now you're not actively involved yeah. in yeah in doing that. You see, what I've done myself, mm. I've uh, imparted my knowledge uh, also to Tonderai so that the legacy lives on. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. I'm there always, I'm always guiding him, you know, giving him advice to take, I mean, the, the company, the company forward. Mm -hmm. And one thing which I've always emphasized even to the young generation mm -hmm. is there is no substitute for hard work. Wow. You know, there's no substitute for hard work. If you have a goal, mm -hmm. if you work hard enough, you will always achieve. I mean, for myself to be known, even to be respected in the legal field and the entertainment field, for people to accept me, it has been a long journey, hard work. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing is, if you fall, please, you must know that you can always rise again. Mm -hmm. Don't take, if you fail, don't even um, get worried that you have failed. Mm -hmm. It should just make you stronger to try and... Uh, and, and, and get up mm -hmm. because it's a long long road you're traveling yeah. but uh, what you should do is you should keep on trying and if you keep on trying you'll get there mm -hmm. there will be obstacles on the way you know people will I mean myself I've seen it all I've been insulted a lot mm -hmm. I've had wars even with artists wars with the mm -hmm. lawyers mm -hmm. but you know here I am and uh, I mean, you can believe that the recognition now, mm. like to me, with artists, mm. I am well, very well recognized. Yeah, I, I, I and respected a lot. I've been given lots of awards. The only thing which, uh, which were the only thing is, I've never been recognized by our own government. Mm. You know, for the role I've played. You've played you know, exactly. in the in the in the. In the, this jurisdiction, mm. one I'll just give you an example. Even in the aspect in the legal field, in regard to the money laundering aspect, mm. in the entertainment field, what I've done, you know, mm. I believe that what I've done is actually very, very big, and it can never be replaced. Wow, that 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 I would say, and wow. I I've, I've challenged that. That is powerful. Yes, that is so powerful, mm. and it's so encouraging to to. Uh, one of the things that you just said that uh, there is no substitute for, for, for hard, hard work, work. Yes. which is something that I don't know. Perhaps you can speak on. Do you think you uh, we have hope uh, in 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 the country for uh, young people? Uh, the way you're observing, are we? Do you look at the younger generation that is coming up and say, "Oh, well, there is hope here," um, or has the hard work uh, gone with your generation? Um, no, I wouldn't say the hard work has gone with our generation. I believe even the young generation, there are those who work hard mm. and there are those who don't work hard. Don't work hard. You know, yeah. The only thing is what I would encourage them is that no matter what obstacles one meets, mm. you should keep on working hard. Mm -hmm. You know, to achieve your goal, you can fail for 20 years, you yeah. can fail for 30 years, but... If you continue, I'm telling you, you'll always get there, wow. no matter how long it takes. Mm. Myself, I look at myself, you know, my my, my life, uh, I've struggled a lot, you know, to get to where, where I am. Mm. You know, I've been humiliated a lot, but I kept on being, uh, being focused, mm. you know, that at least I want to... Yeah, succeed right. in, 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 in life. I don't know whether it's for people out there to say whether I failed, mm -hmm. but uh, in regard to the contributions I've made to, to, to Malawi, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't think I need even anybody to tell me because I know I've, I've, I've done it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is the reason why perhaps even yourselves, you thought uh, perhaps yeah. we should go and talk and to, to Mr. Banner. Exactly. Yes. That is yes. definitely yes. Okay, now for, uh, I know that you've thrown in some jabs in there to advise us as young people, uh, also um, looking out for us as we, we've been talking. 
but I want to uh, because this this particular playlist yes. is called "What Made Me." Yes. So basically, what we uh, try to learn from uh, industry proven people, yes. entrepreneurs, shakers, and movers, mm -hmm. um, is what made you as Mr. Entertainer. That's the first thing, and then uh, five things, five highlights. Yes. We call them high five. Yes. Five things that you think these are the most important things that contributed to my success and building the person that I am today. Mm -hmm. And on the back flip of, of, the, of the same, five nuggets of advice to uh, young people, old people, uh, musicians, inclusive of everybody. Mm -hmm. Take it away. Sir. You know, I, I don't know if I'll be able to, 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 to make it to, 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 to five, yeah. but I believe the things which made me perhaps in this aspect, uh, like you say, is Mr. Entertainer. Yes. Is one, the love of music mm. and the love to assist fellow Malawians mm. who wanted uh, to, 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 to thrive in music. Mm. Two, the desire of uh, wanting to put uh, Malawi on the world map. Mm. You know, having seen that in other jurisdictions, people had... Um, uh, have got music with their own identity That's and true. having the dream that a uh, Malawian artist can also do the same. Mm -hmm. uh, three, the fights, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 of course, the love that they, they should have their, 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 their own music. Mm -hmm. Four, the desire that when we have events in Malawi, mm -hmm. they should also be the same standard with events which are which 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 are done outside mm. the country. Five, the desire, you know, just to assist mm. Malawian artists, mm -hmm. you know, the, the just that desire of giving them a hand, mm. you know, when they are in, a, in 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 problems, give them leaving the door open mm -hmm. for, for, for 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 them. To come in mm. any time, you right. know, mm. that has also contributed to making me Mister Entertainer. Mm -hmm. uh, five, uh, I would say, the desire that of just wanting to fight on, mm -hmm. you know, when you encounter problems. Yes, I have encountered that. problems a lot, mm. but I never gave up. Mm -hmm. I decided just to continue fighting. Yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and I think th th those are the ones. Which made me who you are who today. Who I am as Mr. Entertainer. Entertainer. Yeah. 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 And on the other side, perhaps because you have you have two personalities. Yes. Before, before I get to the other person, yes. you have two personalities. You're a lawyer. Yes. And you are also an entertainer or yes. Uh, yes. entertainment promotioner. Yes. Uh, yes. What about on the other side? What are some of the nuggets that uh, contributed to building yeah. you as, as a lawyer? lawyer? Okay. What contributed to me to building me as a lawyer? First. Of course, I must commend my late father. You always wanted me to be a lawyer. And father number one. <laughs> yes, I, I wanted to live his dream yes. that uh, uh, I, sh I, 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 should, I should be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And uh, two, um, when I was young at uh, secondary school, mm -hmm. we used to, 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 to debate a lot. Mm. And I was one of the persons who would be chosen wow. to represent the school, yeah. you know, mm. in the debating contests. This is primary school. Primary school, even secondary school. Wow. You know, I mm. used to be chosen mm. to, to represent the school mm. in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, de, the debating classes. Yeah. And even uh, when I was doing law at the University of Lesotho, mm. when you used to when we used to have these moot courts, yeah. you know, mm. I would be one of the ones who would be chosen. To, 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 to represent uh, mm. the university. So mm. that encouraged me to also to be a lawyer. Mm. And the fact of wanting to save, you know, mm. uh, this fact of that uh, everybody is presumed innocent, you yeah. know, until, until proven, proven guilty. guilty. Yeah. Until proven <laughs> guilty. Because sometimes what we see with our naked eyes yeah. is not, yeah. is not it. So I used to be fascinated mm. with those things and the, uh, Growing up in Harare, we had television, mm -hmm. and when I used to watch lawyers arguing, yeah. you know, I used to 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 to, to admire that, mm -hmm. and it also encouraged me to 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 um, uh, 
to, 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 to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I wanted also to make a difference mm -hmm. in, a, in, in society, mm -hmm. you know, and I thought being a lawyer, one yeah. would yeah. make a, 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 a difference also in society. Right. Mm -hmm. It is a, a profession which is well respected a lot. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Yes. Amazing. Now for the last part, sir, Mr. Jai Banda, the entertainer himself, leave us with just five nuggets of advice. Now these are pieces of advice mm -hmm. if you were as a, as a father of this country, yes. as, as a father of uh, music promotion, mm -hmm. someone that uh, the whole country should be looking yes. uh, towards, you know, yes. in respect. What are the five things that you would say if... Um, I were to leave my children yes. with these five things, I think this would be sufficient. Mm -hmm. First, you have to work hard. Mm -hmm. You know, I would encourage that whatever you do, work very, very hard. Two, you should be kind. Wow. You know, be mm -hmm. kind. Mm -hmm. Learn to help others. Mm -hmm. No, don't just look upon yourself and be selfish, but learn to, 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 to help others. Mm -hmm. Be kind, you mm -hmm. know. Three, also be humble. Wow. You know, be humble. Humility mm. is, is good. No matter how educated you are, you know, be humble. Yes. I mean, you meet street kids, don't try and uh, show off to them. Yes. You know, you are educated, don't try and show off. Mm. And, um, you know, learn to be humble. Mm. And listen to advice also. Listen to advice, mm. you know. Uh, from your elders mm. and respect your 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 your, your, your elders. Mm. And last but not least, always praise God. You know, mm. always believe in God. And yes, sir. Always have faith mm. that you will succeed in mm. whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and of course, learn to forgive uh -huh. if people yeah. hate you. You <laughs> should forget. Amazing. Don't keep grudges. Mm. You know. Learn just to move forward. You shouldn't, if you fall down, pick yourself, pick yourself up. Mm. You know, pick yourself up, and um, always work hard. Mm. Always fight to win, mm -hmm. fight to succeed. Mm -hmm. Do your best in whatever you are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whether you are a street sweeper, whether mm -hmm. you are a mechanic, mm -hmm. whether you are whatever profession, do your best in mm -hmm. that profession. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Jai Banda. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it from Mr. Entertainer himself. Uh, those are the five nuggets of what he believes made him and the five nuggets of advice to all of you watching at home or on YouTube. Uh, Mr. Jai Banda, we really thank you for your contributions to this country, your contributions to, to music itself, to artists, many of them who have seen their testimonials, who keep on saying, I would not be here today if it was not for this man. Thank you so much, sir. This country honors you and we honor you as well. Thank you. Thank you so much.